Good people of the internet, I would like to introduce you to my new wood lathe. Behold the Ramator, or maybe it's a Ramator. It, uh, it could even be a Ramateur if it's French. I really don't know since uh, I couldn't find anything on the internet about this machine. I think it's about 20 plus minus 10 years old and it looks uh, semi-professional something for the uh, bit more serious amateur a serious amateur like uh, me although not too serious of course it doesn't meet all the criteria my uh, new pre-used lathe should have but uh, it comes close and the uh, well the price was right so I took her home to my uh, little tool temple so let's have a closer look this steel stock is a uh, big improvement compared to the one on my old wood lathe. It has a uh, cam locking mechanism, so it's very easy to move forward and backward. It has a nice long travel, and uh, in the quill is a very useful uh, MT2 taper for the uh, tools. And uh, it even came with a decent life center. I'm not a big fan of this quick drill handle. I would have preferred a normal handle and a uh, uh, auto eject feature when uh, backing off. Now I have to use this bar to uh, punch out the uh, tools. But I'll probably get used to it in no time. The uh, handle here can be repositioned. That's a nice touch, although not really that useful. Um, on the back here is the handle to lock the quill. Let's see. Um, the levers, they are a bit rusty and this one here is missing a nub. I'll probably shine them up a bit at some point because I'm not a big fan of rusty bits. The um, tool rest unfortunately doesn't have a uh, cam locking uh, banjo. I really would have liked that but uh, well it is what it is. It came with only one rest and it's a bit shorter than I like so I'll probably make my own and uh, maybe I will also make a, a curved one for inside the bowl and a short stubby one. And if I really get into woodworking I might make a uh, cam operated banjo one day. So here's the uh, business end of the lathe and um, it has roller bearings so no more messing uh, with oil for me. That's a big plus. It has a uh, MT2 uh, drive spur, just like the tail stock, you need to punch it out. And there's a face plate that spins off. By the looks of the uh, surface finish, I would say this is homemade. And since there aren't any holes, it was probably never used. I'm not a big fan of uh, aluminium. But it does have a uh, steel insert. Let's see. Twenty-nine-seven. So I think this might be an M30 bolt. And the pitch, probably 2.0, let's see, yeah. hmm. 1.75, I might look uh, for uh, one of those nice uh, chucks uh, for this uh, spindle nose. A four-speed pulley. I have no idea 
at what speed it runs because it's uh, well there's no speed chart I have seen the lathe running but unfortunately I can't show it to you because this big ass plug won't fit my outlets I didn't know there were different size plugs you learn something new every day but it doesn't really matter because I was planning to install a VFD drive anyway the um, center height is about 16 and a half centimeters which is a little bit over two centimeters more than the old lathe and the lathe can uh, hold about 90 centimeters between centers and that's enough for a uh, good size uh, baseball bat useful for uh, when the zombies come and below the headstock in the uh, cabinet there's the motor I looked but uh, I don't see any uh, um, information uh, plate but judging by the size of it it's probably no more than uh, a one horsepower it is pretty dusty in there it could use a bit of a cleanup and now you get to see what's behind door number two I don't like the fact that the door is on the side here because it makes putting the lathe in the corner a bit uh, well, difficult well, looking at the length of the bed the door will always open up this far so it might be okay I find these slots a bit odd the uh, previous owner must have had a lot of files well I guess that's about it it uh, needs a clean up and I'll need to install a VFD drive and then I should be ready to go oh I will paint that uh, that uh, nasty looking board that the uh, previous owner installed it's probably very uh, functional but uh, I hate uh, the color it, uh, there's just too much contrast between it and the lathe and if anybody knows a bit more about um, the name Ramator please put it in the comments I will send a mail to these guys they are still in business maybe uh, they can enlighten me well that's it to be continued